Griffin was asked about your outing. He called it an impressive night where you made some big pitches when you needed to. What do you take away from this outing? Yeah, I, I thought we made a lot of quality pitches tonight. I thought, um, you know, I thought we handled the inning with a little bit of traffic well with the infield hit, uh, the Shields uh, one-out single, and Ramirez down the line. Um, just continued to make pitches through a little bit of traffic. Fortunately, had a lead to be able to do that. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I thought we played good defense, and, I um, you know, I, I thought that um, – I just thought that more often times than not we were executing pitches. Early lead impact you, and does it allow you to do anything differently? Well, uh, just I mean, it forces you to be aggressive. Um, you know, it obviously, you know, I mean, solo home run, I, I, you know, solo home run doesn't beat you, but solo home run obviously doesn't tie the game or or you know lose the lead um, in, in any sense of the way at that, at that point. Um, and you know, it, it can you know it can be helpful to to just kind of try to attack the zone and, and, and establish establish where it is. So. Bruce Beck. Garrett, what was it like to finally pitch that first playoff game representing the Yankees? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, it was a really complete team game. I thought that um, in the middle innings when uh, they scored, we responded even with uh, a sizable lead, which um, I thought was good. Kind of allowed them, uh, tried not to allow them to get um, some momentum through those through those innings. And uh, uh, we made some key plays on defense that kept a couple lead runners, uh, lead off runners off uh, the bags, which was uh, kept the pitch count down. And and we swung the bats really well. And I enjoyed myself. So it was, it was a nice night. Take the next one from James Wagner. Hey, Gary, what was it like? I mean, I don't know if you could hear. I know you're so locked in when you're on the mound, but uh, here the family's up, and you know that we're here. I don't know if you had your family here, but did, did that was it kind of cool to have them with you in the same? Place? Yeah, my that was that was fun. Yeah, my son came, so it was a good game. Um, I, I, we couldn't hear them. They they play the they play the crowd noise quite loud here, and they uh, include the big drummer guy that's usually up in the bleachers in left field. And so, uh, nice touch. But um, no, it was nice to have our families here for sure. Next one goes to Joel Sherman. Uh, Garrett, I wonder, as both an opponent, but especially now as a teammate, do you sense the team plays better, looser? Uh, when judge is impactful? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's pretty, that's a, I, that's pretty safe to say, you know, because he's just has such a big impact <laughs> most of the time. So, I mean, if he's banging the ball around, I mean, we're usually pretty much having a good day. Next one to Marley Rivera. Hey, Garrett, um, just kind of jumping off Bruce Beck's question, the fact that you had a chance to finally pitch in sort of a form of a crowd and the fact that Caden was here, was there any moment where, you know, this was the kind of uh, outing that you dreamt of as a Yankee fan, your first postseason outing? Um, I mean, you know, we needed to set the tone for the series. And, um, I mean, I was, you know, I'm, I'm obviously very thankful and, and humbled to be able to take the ball and be in this position. And um, so to be able to deliver – feels really good and and obviously with my son here that felt, felt pretty good too so um yeah i would say i would say it, it it definitely um it was definitely a special night um you know but especially in this year we we, we have a lot more baseball to, to 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 go win so um obviously celebrate the good stuff and and um and uh shower it off and, and come back tomorrow and, and get after the ball yeah. next one to Lindsay adler Hey Garrett, um, you said yesterday that you enjoy setting the tone in a series and that you practiced it throughout the ser season. I'm curious, was that a skill? Is that a skill that you feel like you've had to develop throughout your career? And do you feel more confident taking the ball in Game One at this point? Um, I mean, I, I feel confident just getting the ball whenever he gives it to me. Uh, as you know, as, as starting pitchers, I mean, that, that went back to, you know, I remember Coach Savage hammering us about, you know, the starting pitcher can set the tone, whether it's um, you know, whether it's the first game of the series, second game, it really doesn't matter. I mean, the starting pitcher sets the tone that day. I think there's an old saying is you're only as good as your starting pitcher. So, um, but certainly leading off, uh, 
you know, a series, um, you know, win or lose, it's uh, uh, pitch well or pitch bad, um, you know, the setting, you know, setting the tone or, or, or you know, establishing how we're going to go our, about our business is really important. But, you know, it's also a team, uh, it's, it's also a team thing as well. You know, the DJ and Aaron in the first setting delivering, you know, the kind of left jab and a, and, a, and, a, and a right hook, you know, to start the game off was 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 crucial. And, and I felt like we finished the at-bats well through the first inning and then you know we kept our foot relatively on the gas the whole night so as far as setting the tone like individually we certainly want to go out and do the best we can but um you know it's a team game so um it takes all of us